Okay, folks, it's Beano Black, and basically, relax, that's nothing there, because I'm going to show you what you're interested in is a very fast, I mean, the fastest comet I've ever seen, because it's going way through space, and through a whole two days worth of footage. Now, that's Mercury down there, giving a CME reactive flare to a lot of disturbances that are going on, and you're going to find out how huge Pluto is, and why they've always been kind of hiding <coughs> and lying to you about the fact that Pluto is... They try to say Pluto is not a planet, and then they say Pluto is small. Okay, so that was Mercury, and let me pop back real fast so you realize that that's Mercury doing that CME reactive flare there. And remember the different angles, so when you're saying, well, that's not, well, but NASA's saying it. I'm not marking it. NASA's doing that. Okay, so that is Mercury. Okay, and then whatever there, I don't know if I hit pause by accident there or something like that, and there's Mercury, and then it should line up with that being there. Okay, and then I was gonna. What I was gonna do is I went ahead and loaded up. I was gonna start showing you guys that the only that the factual when I do find objects out there, you know, they found Make Make. Now remember, Make Make is only like 22% of the size of Earth. Okay, and then it's way the hell out in an orbit, way the heck out there. But I'm gonna show you how huge Pluto is because you're gonna see it in the footage that I'm gonna give you of a of a huge comet that's coming by real fast, not coming by Earth, but it's way up here by Saturn. Okay. So I'm going to leave this with make make kind of like there and it's in its basically orbit it takes a long time for Mer for it takes years and years for make make to do its orbit and it does it orbits around the sun they actually know it okay so actual factual we're going to go here and then I got Eris I loaded up too I'll show you Eris's orbit way the heck out there okay Eris is out there now Eris is huge and I'm going to come back to Eris in a minute because we're going to show you, make you realize how big uh, Pluto is. Because you're going to know that when I'm showing you this plot here, I've got Hama on there. And it's, you know, it's kind of a small object too. It's like a certain percentage of Earth's size or something like that. I think it's like 0.0017 or something the size of Earth. It's pretty damn small. But it's out there in that big orbit out there, and this is the only objects that we really know that NASA talks about to any anything, but they're tiny, okay? But now Eris is not. Eris is huge, and I got some great footage that I can show you of Eris. Now there's Make Make where it's at out there with Pluto, and then you're going to realize that the only thing that really should be up here in this footage here that I'm going to show you, because I should be able to pop in here, and there you go. On the 18th, we got a comet. Now, don't worry, because actually... You're going to have to be careful because there's some dipshits that can actually, and I'm, you know, sorry about the language, but there's some people that could try to pull some games with you. Now, here's the 17th of that action of that comment, and I'll go up in size and we'll take a good look at this thing. It's moving away, but you can see how huge Pluto is. <laughs> Let's check it out. You get to see Pluto because they're moving the satellite to be able to see this comet, and you can see that's got to be Pluto. You would think that it's got to be Pluto that we're seeing there. Now, remember, we got our objects here that, we've been, that I've been saying, you know, hey, this stuff's in our, and I'm going to be able to prove that this stuff is in our, uh, because I'm going to, Eris is huge, and I'm going to be showing you uh, Van Allen belts and a shot up by Eris, okay? So I'm going to pop over here. We'll get back to the 18th. I think we got the footage here from the 18th. You see, and we're, we're at Sechi H12, and this thing's moving up this way, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. But what I was going to be telling people is you got to be careful, because if somebody was to show you, like this shot here, they could scare the hell out of people saying that this thing is going to come up and hit Earth because <laughs> it looks like it. I mean, it's in the trajectory to come up there. That should be Earth right there. And then factual, actual, take you back down so you know that this is the shot we're at or H H12. That sure the hell should be Earth because I'll slide over here and we'll know exactly what it is. Earth's up high and Mercury's low. So that's Earth and then Mercury's low. Mercury's tiny. Remember, I always tell you Mercury's the same size as the moon. Okay? Pretty much Nat's ass, same size of the, of the moon. Not to the Nat's ass, but pretty much. It's pretty much the same size as the moon. And then you can see this comet down here below the numbers here on this shot here. And you got Saturn marked there. And see, this is basically, that's got to be more than likely Pluto there. So Pluto is a hell of a lot bigger than, and see, they always have a hard time trying to, and then I've showed you the actual factual information. If you watched my videos before, I've actually showed you some, you know, top notch, you know, that basically... They don't like you to know about that stuff, that Pluto's big. They don't want you scared of things out in the space that are bigger than Earth and so forth and so on. So they've kind of, there's something secretive about Pluto because they tell us that Pluto is not a planet. Well, if it's, if, and if it's not Pluto, and then I'll go back to JPL here, the deal, what the hell is it that's so goddamn big that's up there? Because Hama is not big, okay? And also, 
this is not big. And I'll give you some information on these things. But now, oh, totally the other direction over here when I'm showing you this here map so you can realize where Pluto's at up there by Saturn. Okay, actually I didn't, I guess. But Eris is large, but Eris is way the hell over here on the other side of the actual factual if I suck in on, on the sun, you see that it's all the way on the back side. The sun's right there in the middle of the well, in the middle, okay? So then you go all the way out and then see Eris is way the hell out there to the right, out by some Uranus and Neptune and everything. Now remember, when I'm showing you this, the actual factual, that there's really nothing up there. Pluto is the only thing. Saturn, there's not supposed to be anything. This is the only tiny little small objects that I got up there and I was gonna start explaining to people about that. And then I get the comet pops in there. So it kind of basically would get, you know, whatever. Lucky, then you get to see the fresh footage. Now remember, that's Mercury down there below Earth, so nobody confuses you what's going on, okay? And then the CME and the Sun's over here to the right, and then the, the this is the freshest from the from the back. I can hit play on this too, I suppose. And this is the freshest from the backside on the 17th. Actually, I can give you the 18th, but I don't really think we're going to find nothing. I'll pop back and freshen that up to the 18th just for the heck of it to see if there is something fresh and new there. But this is what the interest, most interesting thing is, is we have is, is this comet here moving along on the backs on A. And I've got a comet list that I'll flop up for you too here too. Now remember, it's not pan stars. But the beautiful thing is, is more than likely there's something that's huge in there that's in but then also they're filtering the whatever star action that I was seeing a long time ago before too there's, there's a hyperbolic star up there somewhere okay and remember you got Saturn over there so we've got our hyperbolic right there check that out that's our hyperbolic star that's up by Saturn because they're zoomed out way of, and, they're, and they're back looking at this and then you got this you ended up being able to see Pluto and a bunch of other stuff so that's our hyperbolic stars are up in here somewhere and they get basically shaded out by the blue coloring but as you can see, that's a fast rotating because this is 24 hours worth of footage here. Okay, and then come down and you can see the comet. Then we'll get a big, uh, I'll pop over to the 18th and we'll get a, in a zoom a little bit more. I'll go into like 999 really fast on this. Go 400 and then we'll pop down and over and get to 999. And you get the freshest here. And then we get the 999, we'll punch that in. And then we can pop back and forth. Nine, nine, boom. And there you go. And then I'll go back to the 400 and I'll we just get a good look at the head of this thing. And then you'll realize where it's traveling because I'll show, be able to show you. You can pick out a point and basically I'll pop down real fast to 400 here and you'll realize. Now this is, remember this is the 18th. This is the freshest footage. So you'll see that it's like down here doesn't go any this is the freshest footage so it's it goes all the way up to there to that you're going to see here on the 17th that it just kind of goes to this but it's still it's hauling ass i mean it's hauling ass this thing is fast that's a massive distance in space ladies and gentlemen and it's got a big ass tail to it so it starts to tell you what's coming around us now i'll give you a list of comments and everything like that uh i think i got boom I'm not going to scroll, waste time scrolling down because basically this will stay the same for many months. So, and I don't really think that it's anything that we know of here, okay? Because I know it's not pan stars for damn sure. So that knocks you down to four. So I'll be looking at these here, six or so, two, four, six, eight, and then the next couple days I'll be able to give a position. And then so I'm sure somebody will probably spit up the truth of maybe telling us the actual factual of, uh, remember that's your latest there and that. I'll, uh, that's your freeze frame shot of it. And because 15 minutes goes by real fast. And I'll pop back on that and see what we got from the 18th. But it's not really going to matter. That's the backside. There's really nothing going on in the backside. Everything's going on over here at A. And we got that comet going up there on the 17th. And as you can see, see, it only came up to this here. Not even, not even to that. And then on the 18th, it comes all the way up to here and it's going this way. So factual, actual, remember, it's not going at Earth over here to the right, okay? So we're safe, okay? So factual, actual, and then we get a great look of knowing how big, more than likely, what Pluto is, because there's a magnetical there. I've been showing you that there's magneticals up here, and we got something, you know, pretty good size over there that could 
you know, there's star, there's a super giant star over there somewhere, and I'm gonna figure out what super giant star that is eventually here. Okay, so we pop back over to the 18th, and you'll see how much it travels because I'll come up on the screen here, and you'll see that it's coming up to this higher elevation there. So it's going that way towards more than likely up by Pluto because that's the only thing I can figure that that magnetic line should be way the hell up here by Pluto. And we've been, I've been telling everybody, it's like, okay, what the heck is, you know, we're getting a good look at something that's huge. It's up past Saturn. So you're getting a good look at of what's going on way up past Saturn because we're getting this action and we're getting the comet that's going there. And that's a huge comet. You got to realize how huge that is. And then I've told you how huge Pluto is and they, they, you know, the authorities, they lie to you about how big Pluto is. So, uh, you know, it's just a fact. You can go research it. Pluto is not as small as they've tried to, and then they say, oh, it's not, a, you know. Well, hell, a very actual factual, they call these minor planets. These make make and uh, Eris, which is huge, and Hummel. Okay, so... No matter what, we got some big stuff, way bigger than this Hamas and everything else that they're saying. And more than likely, we get a great look at Pluto there. So there's the freshest look at Pluto, and more than likely, Pluto's on that magnetical line. You would figure. Uh, if somebody knows what the hell that is besides being Pluto, then let me know. Because we probably more than likely, okay, then I'll know what the supergiant we got there. And I'm going to figure out what supergiant we got there, because basically... Uh, I don't believe Pluto is this damn large as his whole circumference there on that. But let's get a little look at that, just for the heck of it, at the end of the footage, because I'm sure I've been jabbering and showing you all the factual here. Let's get a look in on that. We'll go to 999, and I'm not sure if I got the 19th or the 17th here. And we'll get a look at what we've got up there. And that's, you know, whatever. There's a super giant star back there or something with, with Pluto or just Pluto, no matter what, is bigger than what they make us out to know and believe. So this is from the 18th, that footage there, and I'll look get over and look at the comet again at 999. This thing's a huge comet. That's flipping big. That is big. Because you can back up for the zoom in on whether that's Pluto up there or not, but that thing is flipping huge. So we got to keep an eye. Remember, they, they took them. To, they only we had two years advance notice on being able to see uh, pan stars. Okay, so which comet is this? And it's moving hella fast. So I don't really think that it's anything of a comet that we know of that's on our comet list that we know of in our you know being able to see in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere and so forth and so on because this will change throughout the in the future here, but. That thing's moving too fast and too damn big to be any of these objects, uh, I believe. I really do believe. It's too damn, too damn big, too damn fast. So that's a goddamn big comet. And that's a comet because the magnetic line, okay, and then that just goes to factual to, uh, like I've been telling everybody, that Pan Stars was not a flipping comet, okay, because there's the magnetic line only on one side on the gray action there, okay? So, uh, that's your magnetical going all the way up, and it's going to keep on cruising, jet, you know, right along. So this thing is big, and it's not any of the comments that I that we know of that I know of, unless someone's going to be able to say, yeah, "Well, I know what it is." Okay, we'll say what it is because that's flipping huge. Because that's way the hell out. I remember it's going to be a little bit closer to the camera, so yeah, it'll look a little bit bigger, but still, no matter what, that's flipping big. Okay, so we'll know which comment it is, and. It's a long ways away from Earth, folks, because Saturn's a long ways, and you just figure draw a circle 360 degrees. This is way the hell out, okay? Way the hell out that door of, remember, 360 degrees in space. But I would figure more than likely that that's Pluto up there, okay? Because basically, I'll show you where Earth's at real fast. We'll zoom in, and then I'll zoom back out, because I zoom in. There you got Earth, and then there's Saturn. So that's probably Pluto, more than likely, the actual factual. Okay, that's more than likely Pluto out there. Actual factual. Boom. And then, boom. That's more than likely Pluto out there. Okay. So, big ass comet. 17th, 18th. So, 
I'll have more in the future, and I'll give you a little bit more of knowing how, you know, that these are... are